All right, everybody, here's my 1995 Toyota 4Runner V6 SR5, uh, second gen 4Runner specifically, and today I'm gonna be taking off the running boards off my, off my car, because I want to have that, you know, that off-road look, even though mine's not four-wheel drive. I still love the looks of a 4Runner without its running boards removed, like with its running boards removed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it, because I can, I want to. So. All right, so here's my 95 4Runner without its running boards. Now it does have that, almost has that off-road look to it. So um, underneath there was some bolt, there's two bolts that held the bracket together. There's two right there. Um, one's already held down by a nut now. There's the other bracket assembly. And there's a third one over there. And then there's two screws right there that I took out. And also ones over here that I also took out. So and then you can safely remove them. And by the way, the running boards are quite heavy, so be careful with them when you put it down. And um, and let me show you the other side as well. So you'll see no more running boards, so it's to ha so it has that nice off-road look to it. So yep, yeah, there she is without the running boards. Now it kind of looks like an off-roader. And here's the running boards. This is the top ones on the, dri it's the driver's side. And then this is where the, that's where the brackets are all held into. And this is where it connects to the wheels, wheel wells. Yeah, there they are.